Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, but today, as the title and the thumbnail shows, I'm going to be reviewing another lip plumper. This time I'm going to be reviewing Barry M's That's Swell XXL. Yeah, so I got these two shades from Pretty Little Thing, being that Barry M is a company based in the UK. So I got the first shade called Diamond and the second shade called TMI. This is a mauve shade and I just bought it because I wanted to try it on. But this is the one that we're really going to be monitoring to see what the effect on the lips is because uh, it's more of a clear and I wanna, I know that the color sometimes affects the way that the plumper looks on the lips. So I just wanna get a clear and, um, well, this is a clear with sparkles, but I still wanna get just a clear color to see how it would look on your lips or mine at least, everyone's different. <laughs> this one I'm just gonna try out at the end to see what it looks like, cause it looks like a really cute shade. So I kinda wanna try it out. But I will definitely leave the links down below if you guys do wanna purchase them yourselves. And I think that Pretty Little Thing also has other colors as well that you can choose from. Oh, and yeah, um, the obvious elephant in the room is that this is a new room. Yeah, I moved. So that's why uh, the scenery is a little different, but um, I don't know, I kind of like the lighting. I'm right by the window, so I mean, I don't know, that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> so, without further ado, mm, it smells kind of citrusy, like a very sweet citrusy kind of smell. And then I like the brush as well. I like these kind of brushes just because they're slanted. And for me, I think it's just really easy to apply to the lips like that. very pretty i didn't know it would be this sheeny shiny i mean it has way more of a of a dramatic sheen than i thought it would there we go sheen. i feel like this would also be a good color to layer on top of other colors um just because it's so uh glittery by itself it looks good too though Okay, so for now that's all I'm gonna put on. I think I put on quite a bit, but hey, can never have enough, right? Oh wow, it's so shiny. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what my lips have been doing. Hey everyone, so it's been five minutes since I applied the coat of diamond. Um, and my lips have plumped up a little bit, I think. They look, they look, they look plump. I really like the sheen that the lip gloss adds to your lips. Really pretty. Um, just the right amount of shine. It's not too much. Uh, and it's just very, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of glowy and natural kind of glow, I think. Like natural kind of sheen. Yeah, that's the word. There has been a bit of like a buzzing effect almost. It's not really like a staying effect. It's not, it's definitely not as severe as the Too Faced of gloss. Um, but yeah, it has a little bit of a buzzing effect. I'll be back in a few minutes to see if they plump up any more. Um, I don't know, they plumped up a little bit though. It's kind of cool. Hey everyone, so it's been eight minutes since I put on the coat of the Diamond Barium Lip Plumper. And um, I think my lips have actually plumped up, let it up. yeah. <laughs> I think my lips have actually plumped up a little bit more um, since the last time I came on here. Yeah, I like the, I really like this lip plumper. And if you don't like the stinging or buzzing, this is more of a buzzing, um, but if you don't like that sensation, this isn't too bad. It's not, it's not as bad as Too Faced. I like the sensation, so but um, it's definitely not as bad as, uh, as any of the other lip plumpers that I've tried. Um, it's more of just like a buzzing almost, kind of like a tingling. It's really not that bad. It's almost, it's kind of weird, but it's almost like a vibrating kind of, it's really not, it's not bad at all. So I think I'll come back in a few minutes just to see if there's any more of a plumping effect on my lips. Um, but I think even the tingling is already starting to go away. So we'll see. Alrighty, so it's been 10 full minutes since I've put on the diamond lip plumper and 
my lips have plumped up they definitely have and it's kind of interesting because the tingling effect really isn't that um that strong so it's kind of interesting to see that even though the the stinging tingling vibrating uh wasn't that strong the my lips still plumped up i guess that's kind of how lip plumpers work but you know i really do like this plumper and uh i don't know i think it's just i like the shade i like the the vibrating um and it's really good for people that really again it's really good for people that don't care for that kind of sensation because it isn't too bad it's pretty mild all right so now i'm really excited because we get to try on the mauve let me take this off first so that we can swatch it tmi that's the shade all right i'll be back all right you guys so i'm excited because this is a really cute shade very cute very mauvey all right hmm Okay, this smell is kind of a little bit more, a little sweeter than the diamond was. TMI is a little bit like more, it kind of gives me bakery vibes, almost like cake. It smells really sweet. Mmm. All right. Oh, also the brush is the same. Let me do my, the hand. Um... The brush is basically the same as the other one. Again, I really like this kind of applicator. Okay. I kind of like this. It's it's subtle enough to be to not be too like in your face. Cuz sometimes mauve shades can be a little too much. But I like this one a lot. But the good thing is that you can layer it to kind of fit what you want it to look like. I like this shade. It's very cute. It kind of goes with my lips. It's almost like a MLBB shade, like my lips but better. Yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of myself for knowing that acronym. Okay, so um, <laughs> I really do like this shade a lot. It has like a cute and sexy vibe to it at the same time, you know? I like the sheen, again, the gloss. The, I, I think like these glosses are really good at like reflecting light because ugh, so shiny, I love it. Again, I like that the shade isn't too dramatic, not too over the top. It has very cute yet sexy vibe to it. You can, you can make it whatever you want. Again, I have to do the I have to do the pose. Do the poses. Cause you have to show off the you have to show off the gloss. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Alright, yeah. Anyways, um I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching my crackhead itself. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I definitely recommend getting these glosses at least. Um, I would really like to kind of get more shades now. Uh, these are really, these are great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I do have a few concepts that I'm still trying to rework in my head. Um, but yeah, remember to follow me on Instagram, on my social media. I'm trying to be more active on social media, maybe post hopefully finally one day on instagram i don't know but yeah i've been posting my story and stuff and snapchat i'm pretty active on too oh also another big thing i do have my series spotlight on where i do highlight some small businesses so if you're interested or know anyone that's interested in featuring please let me know i'd love to set up a zoom interview with them um yeah i really do like to showcase small businesses and their items it's always great to support small businesses so i'm really here for that kind of thing um but yeah let me know i'm here just sitting in my room <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye